Well, oh, we got Jordan Walsh on set. <laughs> What's up, Brooke? What's up? How are you? Good. How are y'all doing? First media day. I know. It How's is. it going so far? It's well. I haven't got kicked out of a line yet. So well, you will uh, in How about five. No, just How does kidding. that jersey feel on you, though? Uh, uh, amazing. You see, two seven is a new number. I'm excited. That's what's up. What made you choose 77? 27. 27, okay. <laughs> so, um, I mean, Boston, all the numbers are retired, obviously, with the great <laughs> history of players. Um, I really didn't have, I had a limited you know, choice of numbers, and this was one of the ones I liked, so I chose this. Ended up working out, I hope. Y- yes, it did. Uh, we look at you, and, and coming in, obviously, you had a great uh, performance out at Summer League. What did you take from that that you're trying to kind of roll up into the start of this training camp? Well, um, for me, the whole point of, you know, summer league was, you know, to play like I would if I was with the Celtics, you know, being able to back up guys like Tatum and Brown, you know, just being able to complement their game, um, taking open shots, you know, playing defense, being aggressive is what the coaches told me to do. And so I took that, you know, with with the great responsibility and went out there and did my best. And shot 41 percent from three point range. Is that something we can expect here going into the regular season? I hope so. That's a great number. Setting the tone. (laughs) For sure. But when you were drafted, you said it was coming to the Celtics was was a dream for you. What does it mean to be here now and, and just be a part of this team? I mean, it means the world to me. You know, um, joining the Celtics, which, you know, in my opinion, and knowing y'all's opinion, that's the best organization that there is in basketball. So, it's, you know, to be in a place with such good history, with such good vets, you know, to the team who can who can lead me to my to my future, you know, it's an, it's an amazing feeling, especially being surrounded with guys, you know, like Al, even coaches and staff like Brad and Joe. Um, it's an amazing feeling. I'm glad that it was Boston, for sure. I, I hear Al's been kind of taking you under his wing, <laughs> offering you advice. As a vet should do. Yes. <laughs> Tell us how that relationship has been? I mean, it's amazing. Um, you know, he's been able to tell me a couple things. You know, I've asked him a couple questions. Like, we have a gala coming up, and I'm, I asked him what I should wear, like accessories and all that. But he's um, he's been mentoring You're me. You're asking Al for fashion advice? I, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's, that's the, the best question spot. to ask him. You should be asking him, is he going to get you something? Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> he's supposed to be taking care of you that way. But let, let me flip to it. When you come out on the court, right, for the most part, you, you average 16 in summer league, right? You went out there, played, shot 41%, looked damn good, right? Very surprising to me because I really hadn't seen much film on you, but I was able to watch, and I was surprised at your offensive skills. But the, the thing that I think the team is really going to need is your defense. And how are you going to embrace that when you come in, you know, subbing for Jason or Jalen? How are you going to embrace that role? Um, I feel like my defense is what got me here. It's what, you know, got me in the position that I'm in. And so I'm never going to forget where I came from. Um, that's the foundation of my game, being a defender. You know, I'm not always going to get the shots that I did in summer league. I'm not always going to get those, those open opportunities. But I'm always going to be able to pick up 94 feet, guard the best player, get steals, be in the passing lanes. That's something I can do every night that I know I can bring to the team. Okay, so say nobody ever seen you play before. Mm-hmm. What? do you bring defensively besides, you know, you be like your, your switching ability, your versatility. Talk about your skill set on the defensive end. Of course. Um, obviously, like you said, switching and being versatile. Um, but also, you know, just being active, being a guy who's, you know, the energy on the court is unmatched. Um, diving for loose balls, um, screaming at the crowd, screaming at, you know, teammates. You know, just being an energy guy who uplifts everybody on the team by, you know, getting stops or just being energetic in general. I'll tell you something else that he brings. If he reaches his arms out, he might be able to touch you from yeah, over Yeah, he could give me five real <laughs> Seven, <laughs> seven let's, foot let's one. Let's try it. Dab me off. Seven, seven, seven can, foot one and go. three quarters on the wingspan. <laughs> Number 11 of all of the players at uh, the draft combine as a small forward. That doesn't happen all the time. How does that length impact your ability to defend? How, how do you use that to your advantage? So, like you said, it's definitely an advantage. Um, being in the passing lanes, you know, interrupting defenders or off, people on offense, um, really being able to get up in people and make them uncomfortable is the most biggest thing because, you know, I can reach and still be bad enough to where if you mm-hmm. drive, I can recover, um, but also being able to swipe at the ball and still be in position to be able to guard or drive. So it's, it's, it's definitely a big part of my game. And if somebody is a little quicker than you, you could play off of them if they pull up. You right there, and you can exactly. contest it, or maybe get a deflection. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Where are you at in terms of understanding the system at both ends? I mean, obviously, you're about to start installing the real system starting tomorrow. But in terms of coming off a of summer league, taking what you learn there, in terms of being in your mind of what you guys are trying to accomplish at both ends. Um, yeah, so um, a couple of things I've learned. I just learned about the, like three for ones and two for ones and what time to do all that. Um, but Coach Joe has also told me, you know, about 
you know, on defense, if we're on defense in that situation, like, do we want to double team? Do we want to hit? Like, what do we want to do? And so I'm trying to pick up little schemes like that, you know, for late end of quarter stuff that's going to, you know, give the team a boost going into whatever halftime or end of quarter or whatever it may be. I got one piece of advice for you, Rook. Stay in the film room. Stay in the for film sure. room. The game will slow down for you. For sure. Thank you. And that's veteran yeah. advice. <laughs> veteran well, advice Jordan, from thank Eddie you. House. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Jordan. We're looking forward to it, man.